what is up everyone this is Kane here welcome back again to tech current youtube channel havoc os based on android version 11 havoc os version 4.8 with the august security patches here and we have installed it on our redmi note 8 for redmi note 8 i have installed havoc os after a long time so let's just talk about this thing as it is still good enough to use as a daily driver as a lot of custom rooms are improving right now with android 12 features and else havoc os still have the android 11 features if you should try out this build on a device or not first of all havoc OS has one of the biggest change or uniqueness out there as this room comes with very different launcher called Shady Launcher. Shady Launcher is now in only Havoc OS. You can install Shady Launcher in other custom rooms but by default launcher is of course by default. Shady Launcher is what you get here by default and you don't get this launcher in any other custom room. So this is one, one of the best unique things about this thing. Talking about the Shady Launcher, you get some customizations and this always enter wallpaper. Abra has the hide apps option. By the way, the port which I was talking about Shady Launcher which you can install on other devices also includes the app locker. So that's quite impressive. Icon pack options present for you, gesture related things and others and these are things you get in default launcher. Default launcher is a Shady Launcher so something is really good. Also if you are a MIUI lover and you don't want to compromise with the default MIUI camera while installing a custom room, then you have this option that MIUI camera is already pre-installed it's not anx camera one thing to keep in mind this is not anx camera a miui camera ported one it's a default miui camera which you get pre-installed by whenever you installed a miui 11 here first time this is the camera layout from that miui 12 has different camera layout that's not available that's only available as anx camera but miui camera is what you get pre-installed things are pretty much fine here everything seems to be same like the miui camera so i don't think so you else need anything 48 megapixel is one of the major things that's working perfectly fine video mode etc ultra wide everything is is present everything is working so yes it's something good if you're looking to stream netflix and amazon prime etc then you need to compromise with l1 certificate i'm not sure if you install firmware then you will get that l1 certificate but right now while without installing any firmware and simple installation you don't get the l1 certificate but yes if you are a user who always use banking apps on a device and you can't compromise with magis then don't worry if you install magis you need to hide it from settings but let me just tell you one thing my device safety status is not passing why so because a lot of users were saying that magis uh, if you install magis safety status will be broken it will be broken definitely but let me show you that if i move on to the settings i have not enabled the magis hide option just not enable the magis hide option hide that and reboot your device and you'll be able to pass the safety net status let's just talk about the things in settings etc the ui seems to be same here like the other ones as if you don't know in other custom rooms right now in these days other custom rooms are improving the ui a lot more things like dot os octavio os have improved a lot havoc os is still the same but it has features are normal and for daily use these features are quite good display also has same kind of ui it does not include any kind of new ui changes battery section does not include the oxygen os ui me ui anything it's normal stock android kind of things and in terms of battery uses stats etc i didn't got any kind of major issues and whole night it gave me one person of drain so which is just quite impressive everything else the same you can simply use the adaptive charging option the present the option is present for you if you want to give it a try it's up to you let's just talk about uh, these things including that we have a configuration center where you get some customizations for you configuration centers includes there is bar customization quick setting lock screen etc same kind of options are already present for you but these options include good options for example the gaming mode is present for you if you're a gamer you need gaming mode yes that's present here all the features which you get in a default android 11 are already present unfortunately you don't get the android 12 features so if you're looking to install android 12 related things in android 11 custom room then this might not be a good choice for you but yes if you need android 11 and stay away for android 12 related things right now then try out this build this build is good looking and you can try it on your device if you want to kind of a daily driver custom room and yes android 11 level try out this build definitely performance was not bad too everything else i've already shown you so these were things you get here customizations are same you can simply explore after installing this custom room on your device these were things i just want to let you know link to install this thing is in the description install zip file you're good to go this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day I'm
floating through the air. 